I would need the support function first. What are these support functions? You would need the finance, you need the HR team, you need an IT team, because every organization now works in with all these infrastructure. Infrastructure in the sense, you will have your HR, IT, and finance. Now, that can be one person, two person, that depends. How big is your company? That depends. But you would need at least three departments and of course one, which is your administration team. Now, once these teams are ready, it can be one person, two person, it depends completely on the organization. What exactly is the work they are going to do? Based on that, you will hire people to work on other things. Now, all these people who are going to work in these departments, they are not your revenue generating organization, right? So they are only going to support your person or support your people who is going to generate revenue for the organization. Now, this revenue generating team is one, two, three, depends upon how many projects or how many, you know, what type of work you're doing. If it is hospital industry, if it is, um, you know, uh, manufacturing, if it is education, if it is IT, you know, mining, we, we really don't know, basically. So everywhere, you have to think as a whole that how exactly am I going to move forward and what are the things that I would need so that I can start the business. So these are the things you have to keep in mind. Right now, let's think one more. See, we have now departments. Now, each department will have people, right? Each department will have people. And for each department, you have to pay salary. And as I spoke, the HR department, finance department, IT department. If it's not an IT company, then IT department will also be a support function, right? So that will be not going, that organization or that department is not going to earn any revenue for you. So for each department, you have to assign a cost center. Any financial transactions that happens, it has to happen through that cost center. You cannot go or you cannot skip that. Even if you're paying the salary, it has to be reported on a cost center. If you're earning any revenue, it has to be updated in a cost center, okay? Whatever your expense are, whatever your earnings are, these have to be properly demarketed so that when you have the audits, there is no discrepancy, right? Because if you have discrepancy, your organization is not compliant and there could be a lot of legal actions on that, right? So for those purposes, we have cost center, okay? Now, in terms of workday, we all have to understand a few things. When workday comes into picture, workday will tell you that workday has um, certain information. Now, when you say certain information, which means that there are already some in organizations which is already inside workday and it's already built. Now, when you have such kind of information, such details, so these organizations are basically categorized into three main ways. One, it is a predefined organization. Second is a custom organization. And the third one is a supervisory organization. Okay, so we have to go in detail on all these parts and we will try to understand why these things are required and how are we going to use it, okay? So what we are going to build in this chapter is the skeletal system, you know, like the foundation on which we are actually going to build the complete module of 4 okay? So this is the reason why this chapter is very, very important. Now, coming on to the first part, which is your predefined organization. So if you remember, I said, there are certain organizations which is already inbuilt in Workday, okay? Inbuilt in the sense, it's already developed, it is already there, but we need to use them. We need to use them as per our requirement, okay? So in predefined organization, there is always a type and a subtype. Okay. So when it, comes to, when it comes to predefined organization, 
there are basically four types of organizations. You will have location, company, cost center, and the region. And when we actually define them, it will have a subtype with it. As per the best practice, as per the best practice, Workday says, generally when you select a type, the subtype also should be the same. So if I'm selecting the subtype as cost center, it should be a cost center as a subtype also. But it is not necessary. Every organization has their own way of you know, using it. And Workday has given that flexibility that if you don't want, you can change it. But these values will be predefined by Workday themselves. Once they hand over the product to you, they will all they will put all the values which you have requested or you think would be required for your organization. Maybe you use a location service or you press a type as location, but you may not use it as business site. You may say it is basically my headquarters. It is my work office or something like that. That is still fine. But when you use company, you may choose that it is a subsidiary or it is a new division. It is a, you know, something like more like an organization, something like that. But ideally, when we configure this, we will start with type and subtype as same. So my location, when I will try to configure, I'll get multiple options. And out of that, I will choose one specific thing, which I will explain you when I will go ahead and start the configuration. Okay. <clears throat> So everybody is clear what is a location? Location is a physical address or an entity where an employee joins to start the work or you know um, get, get the joining date, something like that. Everybody uh, can define an uh, address. Uh, is there any hierarchy in this one, two, three, four? No, what there is no hierarchy. Every, no, it's, it's just independent, okay. Yeah, every entity that you see here is in, you know, independent. Okay. But it all falls under something which I'm going to come mm -hmm. later on. Okay. okay. But this particular part is that clear? What is a location? What is a company? What is a cost center? And I think I did not talk about, talk about region, but the first three parts location, company, cost center. Any questions on that? So this is a predefined one, right? Custom? Yes. We are, can be we are talking only about predefined organization. In, for example, no, you, you are saying predefined as in uh, the car, they have set a location. There's a list of location uh, itself in Workday. You are talking about that thing? No, or, I, I did not. Uh, and the subtype, whatever they have given, right? Whatever Workday has given. No, again, you are getting confused. Okay. What I'm saying is. Can you just give one example? Work. What is I, will come, I will come to that when I will do the configuration that okay. will make things more clear. Okay. But right now what I'm trying to say is under predefined organization, we set up location, company, cost center and the region. That's what I'm trying to say. And all these things are predefined, which means you don't have to basically create a location. That's right. Okay. You, will, you will give a value of that location. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got this the drop down or value whatever now workday has given we will be selecting among them right? that is correct yeah yep okay any other questions from anybody <clears throat> are they interlinked also no like yes you... everything that you are creating here will be interlinked by the end of this chapter okay. so You'll have to be a little patient because when we started the task and you know the way we will be doing it, it will look very similar. And you will feel that oh, it's it's nothing. Basically, I can create it at any point of time. But when you will practice it, then only you will understand the exact difference. Okay. So I hope there are no questions. No, all good. All good. Then let's get into the tenant. And then we'll try to configure the location today. Let's see if we can do it. All right. Just a minute. I'm trying to log in. 